Justice has come under fire for having an intimate relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Wade is assisting in the Trump election interference case. Fox News' Deidre Dukes is live at the state capitol with the day's developments. Deidre. And we heard from the first time today during that committee meeting that uh, so-called whistleblowers from inside the DA's office, we were told, have contacted the committee chair accusing DA Willis of misconduct and the misuse of funds. This is not any type of political witch hunt. This is a quest for the truth. State Senator Bill Kalzer dropped a bombshell as the meeting got underway. The committee chair said he's heard from several whistleblowers who are eager to testify. There are whistleblowers inside the Fulton County DA's office that are that are raising complaints and allegations about the misuse of both federal funds and state funds. Fulton DA Fonnie Willis has come under fire for having an intimate relationship with special prosecutor Nathan Wade. Willis hired Wade to lead the 2020 Trump election interference case. You lose the confidence of the public in the fairness of our criminal justice system if they think prosecutors are engaging in prosecution so that their lovers can get rich. Attorneys for several Trump co-defendants want Willis disqualified and the charge is dismissed, saying she benefited financially from her relationship with Wade. I think a political witch hunt or show trial would damage Georgia's faith in both our political and legal system. Republican lawmaker spearheaded the committee over the objection of Senate Democrats who call the investigation a political witch hunt. Well, when you get right down to it, it goes as far back as the 2020 election. That's unfortunate. Over the next several months, the bipartisan panel will look into allegations of potential conflicts of interest and the misuse of state funds. Willis may be subpoenaed to testify. It's not a given. No. You know, if I will certainly give her the opportunity, you know, and if I were her, I would want to be her. Now, the committee does not have the power to remove the DA from office, but based on their findings, they could make recommendations uh, for changes in state law and also uh, changes in funding appropriation. At the state capitol, Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right, well, it'll be interesting to see what comes of this. Thanks so much, Deidre.